So phosphorus is one of those remedies which we know quite a lot about and we have almost the final picture of its pathology. And what is this final picture of the pathology of phosphorus? Are individuals who have open, open up, they have been open and if you open a, a box with different things, eh, they are just spilled out, all the things inside the box. So the, the phosphorus is the individual who has no box, no protection, no skin to retain within the skin everything else. The soul is coming out. The blood is oozing out. The blood is oozing. Eh? The soul is oozing, is out. And uh, the mind also is out. They are open to receive impressions without the ability to resist. You see, if I shout, oh, sorry, <laughs> I break her earphone. <laughs> See, those who are phosphorus, you see, each one received this shock in a different manner. Some, they did not even move. Some, they move a little bit. Some, they did like this. And some, ah, <laughs> what it was that. The feelings, if the feelings come out and somebody is suffering, Immediately they pick up the suffering from, from the person who suffers. And they suffer themselves. Eh? It says sympathetic. The symptoms is sympathetic. But actually what kind of sympathetic? Now that person who has this tendency to come out and see what happens? What happens? Oh, you suffer. And suffering, they do not have a resistance. Suffering goes right through to them. The same thing with the thunderstorms. They say fear of thunderstorms. The moment his phosphorus is it's like this. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Eventually, it says something is going to happen. They feel something is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen. And then it becomes strong anxiety. Fear something will happen. As a, something will happen which has to do with what? Has to do with suffering either of himself or of others. It's not fear that something will happen like uh, an earthquake, like a uh, planetary catastrophe. These are other remedies which have this. You know, these communicative people, eh? they have to have somebody. He says, desires company. Desires company, capital letters, you will see phosphorus. But this, this is the idea. The idea is that phosphorus actually needs somebody to reassure him almost that nothing bad is going to happen. The anxiety is mostly about their own health, which is primary problem, and the, 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 uh, the anxiety about their loved ones, their children, their wives, their husbands, etc. 
mother, father, eh? In, in the hospital, you, you, you will see a case where they say, please take, take me away from this room because this, this woman is, is suffering a lot. You know, they say, oh, 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 forget it. The, the phosphorus cannot stay in that room. He says, please take me away. I mean, it's not possible. The anxiety can be really hypochondriacal it's very much with the little thing. This is cancer now. What I have this, oh, this, this may be cancer. And then it is the type of the person, of the patient, who will go to the doctor and he will be influenced by the doctor. The doctor will say, no, this is nothing. Don't worry, you don't have cancer. They calm down. They go away, next day, two days, three days later, again they start. But for a period of time, they are better with the uh, evaluation of the doctor who says, there is no problem with you. It's not the same with other remedies, so we, the reaction is different. The, the presence of the, of the uh, uh, people in front of you are different. You see the openness, you see this. With phosphorus, it's very nice to have phosphorus because they are concerned about you. They will not even, sometimes you give the wrong remedy, eh? you don't recognize a phosphorus case, you give uh, nitric acid. They come and they want to say that they are better. They want to please because they will cause pain to you if they say, I'm the same. You see, the arsenicum or the nitric acid, they, will, they are better. They will come there and say, oh, I think I'm the same. You know, the same. <laughs> and unless you understand, then you will be misguided to believe that they are the same. The, uh, peculiar, the peculiar thing you have to... Uh, on the physical level, what you would need, except of this oozing out of diffusion, of bleeding easily, bleeding, the blood is spilled out very naturally. Eh? The nose opens just for no reason, it just runs blood. The woman uh, has mitraragias, the blood runs goes out the blood uh, usually usually the days the days of the menses for a, in a phosphorus case are, are more than five and full of blood characteristic that if you see then you think of phosphorus is of course except of the bleeding is great thirst for cold very cold water big thirst they drink a lot, and the water has to be very cold. Why is this? From physiology point of view, if somebody who is bleeding in his stomach, you know, easily. If a history of duodenal ulcer with bleedings, a lot of bleedings, you think of phosphorus. In order to stop the bleeding, what do you will order your patient to do? cold drinks. Why? Because it has to contract, to contract the arteries, so the bleeding will be reduced. Phosphorus has a, a, a similar symptom with natrum muriaticum. What it is? Salt. Salt. They have a strong desire for salt. Desire salt is one of the primary symptoms. Thirst, great thirst for cold water, together with desire for salt, makes for two remedies, natrum muriaticum and phosphorus. What is the difference? The one is closed, closed, 
nothing affects the natrum muriaticum. <laughs> or at least will not show it. Phosphorus will be affected by everything on the environment and will show it. They have easily, easily communication with the opposite sex. Where the natrum muriaticum, you see, very difficult to make a new approach. For phosphorus, very easy. One girl left the phosphorus, the next day, phosphorus has found another one. It's like this. The, the natrum muriaticum has a, 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 a kind of, uh, of disapp love disappointment. It will take one year before it's over, two years. <laughs> For the phosphorus, a few days, a few weeks, depend. Why? Because of this easy communication. Time, the time of aggravation, the time of aggravation is the time that the sun goes down to a light. And their great amelioration is after sleep. Sleep makes them feel very good. It is like a medicine. It says, my medicine is to sleep. But there is another type, a polarity, another type of phosphorus, which this sensitivity we have been talking about, sensitivity with the impressions, is so great that eventually the phosphorus may stay inside the house without being able to communicate with anybody because they feel pain by communicating, by going out. It's a state, very severe state, of uh, borderline insanity uh, where, where people will stay inside without being able to communicate with anybody because they say, they claim that if I go outside, if I go to the supermarket to buy something, I see people suffering and I cannot stand it. If they talk to me, I see they are suffering, I cannot stand it, so I stay in the house. Of course, the one type, the first type I'm talking about, Sexually, they will feel what? Very active. Huh? Sexually active and easily aroused and easily um, performing. But the other type, the closed type, it's very difficult, almost impossible to have a contact.